the celebrations did get a little out of hand, CBS 2's Tina Patel is live in downtown LA where excitement turned to chaos. You know, last night, the LAPD posted a video from Ben Scully. He said, let's celebrate this championship the right way. Unfortunately, but you can tell by the cleanup that's going on here this morning, not everyone listened. Many Dodgers fans couldn't help it. They were so excited about their team finally winning the World Series that even though health officials warned them about the risks involved with big celebrations, they took to the streets anyway. Some people set off fireworks, others jumped on top of cars and trucks. A few drivers started doing donuts in the streets, coming dangerously close to people watching. No one was injured, but police took three people into custody for driving recklessly. And overnight, they arrested at least four people for looting. This Foot Locker on 8th and Broadway was just one of the downtown stores that was broken into. This morning, police used a canine to make sure no suspects were still hiding in the store. Well, we come to work and then we see this this morning. It's crazy. Looters also broke into a Verizon store several blocks away, and they shattered the windows and doors of several restaurants and stores in the area. We saw sanitation crews cleaning up what looked like the remnants of street signs that had been set on fire in the middle of an intersection. People who live downtown don't understand why a celebration that was supposed to be joyful had to end like this. I don't like all the damage. We could find a new way to take out our happiness. Business owners are now forced to clean up for the second time this month. Lakers fans left behind graffiti and vandalism after their championship. Now Dodgers fans have them feeling blue. People just don't know how to celebrate. They just choose to do this. Yeah, it's sad. Next time, let's not destroy the stores in our neighborhood. Yeah, as we said, the cleanup's still going on right now. Now, the LAPD tells us that they did break up the crowds that have gathered here in downtown around midnight, and they said three of their officers suffered minor injuries in confrontations with people. That's the latest downtown. We'll send it back to you. All right, Tina, thank you. We'll take a